the Yankees seem like they are in play. Uh, Brian Cashman said pitching is the big story. John Heyman of FanCred tweeted out Yankees have interest in Kluber, Carrasco, and Paxton, in addition to free agent targets Corbin, Hap, and CeCe. And the Yankees are meeting at least with the Indians today. So knowing that, we broke out some numbers. This past year, Kluber, 20-7, and 2.89 ERA. Pitched the most innings in the American League, 215. Has a whip of under one, 222 strikeouts in 215 innings. Now, the thing that would concern you with the Yankees, the Yankee players get great on how they do in the playoffs. Kluber, 4-3, and 3.97, which is not terrible, but certainly not commensurate to the way he pitches in the regular season. He's won two Cy Young Awards. He's had three All-Star selections. Carlos Carrasco, this year, 17-10, 3.38, 192 innings pitched, 231 strikeouts, a whip of 1.12. In the playoffs, two series, 0-1, 1.64. James Paxton, this year, 11-6, and 3.76, 208 strikeouts in 160 and a third innings. All three of those guys you are going to have to trade for. Zach Greinke, you'd have to p trade for. This past year, 15-11, 3.21. Playoff stats, 3-4 and four in eight series, 4.03. Won a Cy Young in 2009, five All-Star selections. And then there's Patrick Corbin. With the Diamondbacks, 11-7, and 7, 3.15, 246 strikeouts, 200 innings. Two All-Star selections, 2013, 2018, sandwiching Tommy John surgery. So he's gotten that out of the mm -hmm. way. Predisastered. He would just cost money and has always dreamed about playing for the Yankees. The other guys, if you're going to be in play for those guys, you are going to have to give up big time prospects. Yeah. So now you can really deplete what you have. It doesn't take long, Michael. When the you Yankees have, have depleted what they. The Yankees used to have the best or the second best farm system in right. the game. All the trades they've made, mm -hmm. the ones with the White Sox for David Robertson and Todd Frazier, the ones for Sonny Gray, mm -hmm. a lot of your top prospects are gone. Now, they have great prospects in the bottom levels that they signed internationally. True. But we don't know what they are yet. But you know, you have Estevan Florial, mm -hmm. you have Justice Sheffield, and if you want, you don't look at Andujar and, and, um, and Torres, Gleyber Torres right. as prospects. But my question now, if you're the Yankees and you know you have to improve your pitching, would you give up? Glaber Torres, and I wouldn't. No, I don't I'm think not giving up Glaber Torres for 32-year-old Corey Kluber. But if I'm Cleveland, that's what I'm going to hold out that's for when I'm or giving up those Esteban types of pieces. Florio, would you give it up or, if you're the Yankees? Or do you not even go there and just say, I'm, I can get Corbin for just straight money, and then that's what I'll do. Right. Although I, I worry about these National League pitchers coming to the American League. You wouldn't have that problem with Cleveland. Those guys have pitched in the American League, pitched at Yankee Stadium consistently. But all you have to do is have a couple of trades to deplete that farm system. Now, if you get these pitchers and you win yourself a championship, you're not going to care necessarily. Also factor in, where do we stand with Frazier, with the concussion, and what's Bird right now? I mean, those are part of your future, too, that were guys that you felt were going to be big-time prospects for you that right now you're not sure where you stand with those guys. So count that plus what you would have to give up to get a Carrasco or a Kluber. I might just go Corbin. He wants to be here. He had an excellent season last year. Then but you don't the have to worry about any gone, prospects. And, and Brian brought this up yesterday in talking about Sonny Gray. You've got to know if somebody's built for New York. Now, just, now, Corbin didn't grow up in New York City. He grew up in upstate New York. That's a big difference. There are guys that have come here that just haven't done it. A.J. Burnett was a better pitcher before and after with the Yankees. Um, Sonny Gray, a really fine pitcher with the A's. He's going to be good wherever they trade him. And they really... Brian Cashman said they've got a lot of bites on him, so they're, mm -hmm. they're going to be able to trade him. There are players, that, you know, going way back, Ed Whitson. Some players can't perform here. I don't know how they, I mean, they have to do their due diligence on Patrick Corbin, but you never really know until they put pinstripes on. And that's no, a risk. you don't know. That's a risk. As you said, the guys that we spoke about, they played in the American League. They faced nine-man lineups, not lineups with pitchers. So Patrick Corbin's used to having 
an easy now, out. Now, Corbin pitches in a building that does give up a lot of home runs yes, in Arizona. Not, a, not an easy building. But you get to pitch at Chavez Ravine. You get to pitch at AT&T Park. You, you do have ballparks in the National League that are spacious compared to the American League where you play at you know, Fenway, Yankee Stadium. Listen, I know it's nitpicking, but you said there's a history there. You can even go to Brown and Johnson and, what was it, Wright? Was it, was it Jared, Jared Wright? Jared Wright, yeah. yeah the really good pitcher in the National League, came to the Yankees, didn't pitch very well. So uh, they've had buyer's remorse before, but you give up a lot of prospects. In the, see, if you sign the free agent, it doesn't work. It just costs you money. Mm -hmm. But if you, if you trade for a Kluber and he doesn't work out, that, then that's the prospects that you gave up that can come back and haunt you.